Good morning. I, I first want to thank uh, many residents in our community uh, for calling in. We received several, several tips as it relates to uh, the incident that occurred at 357 South Colorado that resulted in the, the death of five individuals. I also want to thank uh, our law enforcement partners, specifically ATF the F and the U.S. Marshal's Office, for working so diligently with us as it relates to this. And I'm um, elated to announce as a result of the efforts of many and the hard work of Commander Sawyer and the men and women of our police department, along with the other departments, we have a significant announcement to make uh, as relates to the murder arson that occurred uh, at 357 South Colorado Avenue. Commander Sonia. Okay. Thank you, Chief. First of all, I want you know you to know that the thoughts and prayers of the Denver Police Department go out to the family and friends of the five victims that were lost in this tragic event in addition to everyone who has lost a family member or friend to an act of violence. Now, I want to start by saying I'm only going to be able to provide limited details on this because this is still a current active and ongoing investigations as we go through in the rest of these three suspects. Uh, detectives continued to work throughout the night on this. Uh, late last night, just a little probably close to 11 o'clock, I believe we had our first arrest on this. We arrested uh, Dexter Lewis, uh, date of birth is 2 16 of 1990, uh, in the 8300 block of East Colfax. Uh, shortly after that, we were able to take into custody a Joseph Hill, 8 11 of 1985, and a Linnell, and it's N or L Y N E L L Hill, 1027 of 87. They were taken into custody in the 4800 block of uh, Quebec Street. So once again, like the chief said, I'd like to thank the U.S. Marshal's Office and their Fugitive Apprehension Location Group uh, for assisting us. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives also assisted in this. Special thanks to uh, the Glendale Police Department uh, for their assistance on the early stages of this. Uh, to the officers that responded to the scene, uh, along with the Denver Fire, Denver Arson Department, our crime lab who has tirelessly worked processing the scene, you know, throughout the night and uh, the various other scenes that we've been at. Uh, investigators from throughout the districts came in to assist us in the neighborhood surveys and searches and everything else. And uh, the Office of the District Attorney was here with us, or a member of the DA's office was with us throughout the night providing what they do. And, uh, you know, the many win of the men and women of the Denver Police Department. Uh, basically, uh, I can go into, it appears that the motive of this crime was robbery, that they came in there. Uh, I don't want to say it's a robbery gone bad, but, it, you know, it wound up being a robbery. Uh, the parties were taken into custody. Uh, the arson was set to try to cover up the crime scene to the event. And uh, like I said, I don't want to go into a lot of details, but we did receive information that led us further to our investigation. Most of it came after our 2 o'clock conference yesterday, and we continued to work throughout. Like I said, I came in this morning. Uh, the detectives were still here. They've ran numerous search warrants. They're still working on doing some more search warrants and following up. We're still at the beginning of uh, developing the case on this. So turn it over for any questions. At this time, we believe we have everybody identified uh, that's been involved in this. What charges are they facing? We're going to have definitely the uh, first degree murder, five counts, uh, and their felony murder, five counts. I believe they're also being held on aggravated robbery, uh, the arson, uh, and there, there could be a, kind of a list of more, but those are the main ones that we've got them held on right now. Can you tell us more about how the five people died? I don't want to get into the details of that or the specifics of it. It, uh, it's, it, you know, I can't get into that at this point in time. Is gang related in any way? At this time, I can't say that it is or isn't. I mean, I, I haven't got that information or it, that indicates we will let you know uh, if we do, you know, find out that it is. Yeah, you yeah. know, just kind of be, be mindful. This is very early uh, in the investigative process. I, you know, I think what's really significant is that. Uh, We've made uh, three arrests. Uh, we, we think that uh, this was an isolated incident. 
Uh, we think that they're, we feel comfortable that they're the individuals that certainly are uh, accountable for this, uh, for this horrendous uh, event, uh, crime that had occurred, but there's still much work to be done uh, to make sure that we have a successful prosecution and conviction of the individuals. Any indication that they had committed other robberies before this one? We'll be looking into all, you know, any of that. Anytime, a lot of times robbery is a pattern crime, so we'll be looking back at kind of what the motive, the actions they took, see if it leads to it. Do these suspects have a criminal background? Uh, very limited in the state of Colorado at this point. We're talking so. felonies, misdemeanors? Uh, I, I think within the state, I'd, I'd have to get back to you on that. Did all three men, all three of them enter the bar themselves, you know? What do you all mean? All three on? suspects, were they in the bar? Did they enter? Every indication we have, yes, that everybody we have in custody had entered the bar. Was it before closing or after closing? It was going to be before close. The bar closes, what I'm told, routinely at 2 o'clock. They, they are there till 2 o'clock. We believe this happened somewhere. There. It got reported to us about 1.50. The Denver arson investigators believe that the fire could have been going for 15, 20 minutes based on how much it had progressed. So, Can you release the mug shots? Mug, mug shots will not be released at this point. We will release them in the future. We do have a little bit of follow-up to do that. We'll get them out as soon as we get through with the follow-up. But at this point in time, we still have a little bit more follow-up on the mug shots. Were any uh, weapons recovered, and what role did the federal agents play in this? Federal agents assisted us in the apprehension and arrest of them, along with the Bureau of Alcohol, Firearms, Tobacco, and Firearms were assisting us throughout the investigation. And as far as weapons, we don't go into evidence, can't go into the evidence of the crime. How did police track down the uh, just through following up information, once we identified them, we were able to, you know, do what they do. They follow up information. Don't want to go into a lot of the details about the arrest or how, you know, we came to it. But we, you know, just following up with information that we've had previously on file with contacts and everything else. Is there any idea why they picked this one? Don't have that information or it's not something I'd want to get into at this point in time. Any indication of our customers? What's that? Any indication they were or had been customers? Uh, in the past, uh, you know, I, I would, I don't, I can, no indication that I can talk about at this point. So, I believe and that they had been at the bar in the past. And again, you had no one from inside the bar at the time that all of this happened. Just talk to you. Correct. So, my understanding that you know everybody we had that was in the bar perished. Okay. Okay. Great. Have you baptized any of the, your uh, arrestees? Any what? Drug ties? At this point in time, this is still early in the investigation, so I, you know, I, yeah, I can't yeah, get yeah. into a lot of those details. And, I mean, be mindful that this really, this is, uh, this all recently unfolded, uh, and there's still, as I can mention, a lot of work to be done. And at the same time, we don't want to release any information that could remotely compromise uh, successful prosecution and, and conviction. So. We ask that you certainly be understandable to that. So, again, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.